Robbie, my gut feeling is here, though, that Rune, as the younger player, he, he has to try and play his aggressive game. I know it's it's been fraught with a lot of errors during the course, but if he takes the foot off the accelerator, I think Rublev might run over the top of him. Yep. tell you that Andrei Rublev has won his last three deciding set tie breaks. One of those was a fifth set deciding tie break against Denis Shapovalov at Thank the you. US Open. So on recent history, Rublev's done well. the big deciding set time breaker that Runa won was in the Paris Bercy Masters. Remember that first round match against Stan Wawrinka where he saved those three match points then went on to win the tournament thereafter. So he's got some good memories of deciding set tie breaks too but those were regular. is first to ten and like a regular oh, tiebreaker and you've also got a win by margin of two have you noticed anything in his legs Robbie I mean he's, he, he looks like he's uh, well not cramping but he seems like he's struggling with his legs occasionally maybe it's just his natural gait but it he seems like he's struggling physically a, mm -hmm. a tiny bit but why wouldn't you be yep. at, at the end of a fifth Let's second serve. I tell you, this is a fairly mature thing to do, to, to lose your serve when you serve for the match, to, to soak up all of that disappointment and come back and get the first five points in a ten-point tiebreaker to win the match. Impressive. on the board in this deciding set 10 point match tie break oh, a marathon did Rublev against Shapovalov at the US Open just a couple of months ago winning that one 10-7 in the fifth four hours and eight minutes this one, three hours and 27 minutes in the making. But he did come and stuck against Marin Cilic and Roland Garros in uh, fifth set, the starting tie break. So it swings and roundabouts, Fitzy. And this match particularly, there's been plenty of those. <laughs> so, so this is not over. Uh-uh. Oh. 
road. But comparatively, Two. Robbie, uh, gee, there's been a few mistakes here early in the break, hasn't there, from Rublev? He's just gone a bit flat, I think. Not a good time for it. Fold. It looks to me like he's he's waiting for Rublev to make mistakes here, which he has a little bit in this tie bracket. Three, but he's ta he, they've three, both taken the foot off the pedal a little one. bit here from their normal super aggressive style. Yeah, that's tension. Yeah, there's a lot to lose here, Rob, and a lot to gain. It's just the one mini break now. Great aggression there. Beautiful backhand. He stepped in the court there, took it on the rise. That's the way to win. You've got to win these matches if you can. Not wait for the other guy to lose it. Seven, four. service sitting right around 60 percent give a good chunk of his prize money now for two decent first serves Gee, this feels really close now, Robbie. Seven, five. Rublev starting to pick up on that second serve down the middle, isn't he? Fitz, he jumped all over that one again. And I think there's a, there's a tiny breeze from, from Rublev's end of the court that he's going to now. It's just not much, just a little bit. Whether that helps him or not, maybe it allows Rune to hit out a bit more with a bit more margin into the wind. But, oh, you could cut the... Cut the air with a knife. Thank you. Yes, lick the line with another forehand. I mean, the outer edge of it. And Hawkeye Seven, confirms eight, this is three millimeters Seven. in. And fortune favoring the brave, as John Fitzgerald was suggesting. It's just got a little passive here, as the Dane. Remember, he was Thank six you, two up. Everybody.
was 6 2 up with a serve to come. And suddenly, it's seven apiece. Seven. And he was 5 0 up in this tiebreaker. Yep. What a turnaround this is. And now you, you have to pick Rublev now. I mean, it, he, he looks like he's on a roll, and the other lad has gone a bit passive. Thank you. He's just not had that courage of his convictions to go for it when he's needed to. And that unforced error gifts two match points to Andrei Rublev. Well, both players now have had match points. Olga's had two. Nine, eight. Where does he serve, Robbie? I think he goes slider T. Well, he's been hitting that one beautifully the last three matches, so I'm with you. That's where I think that's the biggest chance for him to get a free point here on match point. Thank you. I think the short answer is possibly no. Nine. -on. He guesses right and produces a moment of magic. Can you believe it, Fitzy? Well, no. I don't think I can. And the crowd, I don't think they can believe this match is still alive. And the look on Rublev's face was like shock. Both players have had two match Thank points, you. neither been able to convert. Yeah. 10, uh, 9, Rublev. Once again, Rublev being so brave, given what had happened on the previous point, to take that forehand out the air again. Oh, that 
everything we have seen. What a way for this match to conclude. Andre Rublev saves match points and cements his place in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open for the second time in his career. Mind-boggling stuff. Three hours and 37 minutes.